So guys, for the first method, you wanna head over to search and type in registry editor, and then click on it. And then click on yes. Now once you're on this, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So you wanna double click on HK local machine, you wanna expand this. Then you want to expand system. Then you want to expand current control set. Then you want to expand control. Then you wanna scroll down and then expand device guard and then expand scenarios. Now you want to right click on scenarios and then click on new and then click on key. And then you wanna type in hypervisor enforced code integrity and click on enter. Spell it the exact same way how I did with the same capitals. And then you wanna click on this folder. Now once you're on this, you wanna click on any blank space and then click on new and click on dword 32 bit value. Then you wanna rename this as enabled and then click on enter. Then you want to double click on the enabled file that you just created and then change the value data to one and then click on okay. Now for the method I just showed you, this will fix the problem if you just installed a virtual machine. You wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. But if you did not install a virtual machine and you're getting this problem, then keep on watching the video for the second method. So for the second method, you wanna head over to search and type in core isolation, click on it. So once you're on core isolation, turn on memory integrity, but it won't let you, which will then bring you over to this screen. Then you wanna click on review incompatible drivers, which will then bring you to this screen and it will show you your incompatible drivers that you have. You want to expand your incompatible driver, which will show you more information about it. So once you have more information about your driver, you wanna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. So once you're on device manager, you wanna click on view at the top and then you wanna click on devices by driver. Now once you're on this, where it says publish name, right here, you wanna to try to look for it over here. So the published name is oem11.inf. You wanna find oem11.inf, which is right here. You wanna right click on it and then click on remove driver. And then you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.